Hey kitties, mom is back and with a brand new express lesson. Please excuse my face. I've just come off the stage, which is why we didn't have a video last Monday, but I've made my triumphant return to the theater. It's a little interactive piece. If you want to come see it, if you're in Sydney, it's www.darkstories.com.au. I will link it below. So that's why I'm looking a bit worn. I've been on the emotional roller coaster. In my last video, I promised an ombre nail with the incredible autumn collection from Dipped. But I designed something, I had it planned, and then I just realized I wanted the circus glitter on every nail. So we did tips. I know people will say it's abrasive, but I love glitter on the tip. This is gonna be very quick. We'll just talk about how to do it. First, get your nails done. I will say my nails are looking a little bit cloudy and that's because mama forgot to buy new emery blondes. You are an idiot! <laughs> Mama doesn't even have a lip on. I look like a peasant. Simply common. That's better. Sometimes we just need to be a bit more subtle. Do your nails as you would after you've done your last coat of color. Make sure to smooth out that top layer before we go in with the tip. Oh, we always get back to that tip. It seems like a running theme here, but it's important never to ignore it. And make sure after smoothing your base color to wash your hands, you want to remove any particles because we're going to go in with the glitter and then a clear coat. I've experimented in many different ways how to do this because mama likes to experiment and this is the most fail safe way especially for people who do not have the most steady hands you want to just paint the tip of your nail if you're a bit worried about getting the depth of the french tip it's not even a french tip if you're worried about getting the depth of the tip correct go a little bit further up than you intend to and with chunkier glitter it's usually best to do that because it's going to help you create a smoother edge to that glitter then dip the tip in after that you want to press down on the glitter we want to create a flat surface so not only does it hit the light, we want a smooth flush nail. Then taking a little scrapey tool, we're just going to poke and prod them until they form a nice smooth round shape. Then seal it all in with that delicious clear coat. Buff, smooth, alcohol wipe, wash, top coat. That's it. We are done. I'll come back with an ombre nail another time. I've been doing a lot of them and I just think I need to move away from that for a minute. Next week, we're going to go into the finer details about how to do a glitter nail. So until then, my kiddies, mommy loves you.